Hey everyone, uh, Richard here. I just wanted to kind of go through a couple things in this video. Uh, first up, uh, a minor contest update. I'm up to 18 entries. Uh, when I hit 20, I'll be adding more to the prize. I already have about 10 or 15 comics set aside that I'll be adding to it. Uh, some first appearances, cool covers, cool artists, just a few cool things to add to the list. Uh, okay. Next up, uh, I'm going to show my top five pickups from 2016. Uh, these aren't necessarily like the biggest, best things I picked up, but they're sort of like the ones that left a mark, so to speak. So yeah, I'll get into that. Uh, first up is Showcase Presents 79, Dolphin cover. Uh, I've started sort of a love affair with this cover this year. Uh, I think I have three or four of them now. I grab it whenever I see it at a, a good price. Uh, can't really say more about that. It's just a beautiful cover. Next is my copy of Amazing Spider-Man 300. Uh, I'm mainly just proud that I got this book. It's like a 9092 newsstand that I paid uh, around 120 bucks for, which just seems like a steal. So yeah, happy to have that one. Next is my NYX number four. Uh, this is mainly on the list because I only paid a dollar for it, and I absolutely love uh, X-23, so it's just kind of a one of those I couldn't really leave off this list. Love it. Next up, Batgirl number 12, the Archerm cover. Uh, I added this one, one, because it's a beautiful cover, but two, because it's kind of what started me on the dark path of cover collecting. Uh, it and... Uh, bunch of YouTubers. <laughs> but yeah, I've been doing a lot of cover collecting recently, and uh, I needed some sort of book to represent that. And last but not least, Amazing Spider-Man 13. This book is by no means in good shape. The reason I've put it on here is because uh, the price I got it at. I paid about 15 bucks for this, and 15 bucks for an Amazing Spider-Man 13. Uh, that's pretty good in my book. Alright, next is my wish list for 2017. Not sure you can read all those, so I'll just go ahead and go through them. Uh, number one, these aren't necessarily in any particular order. Um, the ones at the top are a little more desirable, but not hugely so. Uh, number one, Werewolf by Night. Number 32, first appearance of Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight's quickly become sort of my favorite character, and I, I just need his first appearance for my collection. Uh, number two, Amazing Spider-Man number five. Uh, this is the first crossover with Doctor Doom. Uh, I've been trying to collect the first 100 issues of Amazing Spider-Man for a long time, and I don't know, I think it's time I bunker down and do a little more of it. Uh, number three, Amazing Spider-Man uh, number 20 for Scorpion. It's a really cool cover, and I'd like to have it this year. Uh, number four, Detective Comics 359. This is the first Barbara Gordon Batgirl. As big as a Batgirl fan I am, I'm kind of surprised I haven't picked one of these up yet. I uh, figure this year's a good year to do it. Number five, Amazing Spider-Man issues 50 through 100. I already have about half of them, and I had a lot of the hard ones to grab already, so I figured... Uh, Let's really focus on those issues this year and try to knock that section out if I can. Uh, number six, Batgirl from the 2009 series. This is the same one that the art room covers are from. Uh, I'd like to get issues 15 through 24 to complete that run. Number seven, uh, Moon Knight Volume 1. I want to complete that. I have about two-thirds to three-quarters of that run already, and I just want to finish it up. Uh, number eight, Sensational She-Hulk. As I'm sure some of you saw, I picked up that big portion of that run recently, and I I think I need to have that whole run. It's There's so many good covers, and that that run and the stories seem really good, so I'd like to have the whole thing. Uh, number nine, uh, it's a Black Widow 2010 uh, C-cover variant. This is actually really high on my want list. I've been looking for this one for months. Uh, it's just really hard to find. I haven't been able to find it on eBay or any local shops or anything. It's a, a red cover with a gun in Black Widow's pictures, basically, in the gun. Uh, really, really want that 
that book. It's not even that expensive. Uh, I've seen it go anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks. It's just hard to find. Uh, okay. Number 10, NYX number 3, uh, first appearance of X-23. It's not really high on my list. I won't really be heartbroken if I don't find it, but I'd, I'd love to get it this year. Uh, I'm really only going to pick it up if I can find it at a really great price. Uh, number 11, Avenging Spider-Man number 9, uh, Minor Key. Uh, really, the main reason I want it is because of the Terry Dodson art on it. Uh, I think it's just a beautiful cover, and I would like to have it. Uh, number 12, Hawkman number 4, uh, First Appearance of Zantana. I've come across three or four of these, just like this year alone. Uh, I always think about picking them up, but there's always just something I don't like about it, or the price isn't quite right, and I, I always pass on it, but I'd really like to pick one up this year. Uh, I really like Zatanna, even though I don't have very many books with her in it. But, uh, yeah, that's sort of what I'm hoping to go after this year. Hopefully I can stick to it. Uh, I like to just kind of grab deals when I see them, and kind of makes for disorganized collecting, but, uh, makes for good hauls, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have. Uh, hope you all have a good new year, and take care.